Hello beautiful souls welcome to part 2 of IELTS speaking that is cue card questions especially from Green World Edu Universe IELTS IELTS start with cue card questions don't worry we are here to help you from now onwards IELTS speaking will be a cup of tea so without any delay let's move to our section Describe an occasion when someone took a good photo of you you should say when it happened, who took the photo, and why you think it was good. I'm going to tell you about a photo my friend took of me at my high school graduation. I'll always remember my graduation day in 2010 because of the lovely, candid f smile my friend captured for me. On that day, a warm mid-May afternoon after the graduate ceremony had finished, all of the students gathered outside to find their families to take photos for the books. I had posed for many photos all day, but I found them all unflattering. As I was transitioning to another photo, my friend snapped a picture of me laughing. This ended up being the best photo taken all day. At that point in time, I had just colored my hair to a dark brown color and had my makeup done. I felt really beautiful. I was wearing my maroon colored silky graduation cap and gown, which was flattering on me. Reds are my color. I think this helps the fact that I like the picture. If I had recently woke up with no makeup, I'm sure I wouldn't have felt as nice. I feel that many times people obsess over trying to get just the right photo. However, I think the best photos are candid. I love that this photo captured a real feeling, joy. Since this day, I don't bother trying to get the perfect pose because they never seem to turn out. I much prefer taking selfies or let my friends or family take unposed pictures. When technology is being used to morph photos, do you think people have lost the craze to take photos? I definitely disagree. People are so crazy about taking photos. Actually, they take advantage of this photo morphing. Since you can add a number of filters and effects to photos, such as saturation, contrast, sharpening, etc., the appearance of the original photo quality isn't so important anymore. I think our generation is going nuts with photos. Nobody is holding back at all. We snap away and post on social media and even have live stories of our days on Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. Is it necessary for one to be professionally qualified to take a good photo? I disagree because some people who have never taken professional courses have an eye for photography. Actually, I do. I don't even have a real camera, just an iPhone 6S, but I have some really impressive photos on my Instagram account. Sure, professional courses help you know certain techniques, but I think it's more about your eye. However, for more professional types of photos, I believe that one should have some training when it comes to finding the right light. Can any layman take a photo to be printed in newspapers? How is newspaper photography different? Absolutely not. Formal training is a requirement for this type of job position. For one, the person should have a professional camera because a cell phone quality photo wouldn't be suffice. Since a large audience will be viewing the photo, I think it's necessary to be clear so it isn't misconstruing. However, circumstances may be a blurry photo from a passerby is all there is. In this case, it's certainly okay to use this. For more interesting IELTS videos, subscribe and follow our channel and you guys can join our special elementary coaching to learn every nook and corner of IELTS.